Hands are for scratching. Hands are for rubbing. Hands are for snapping. Hands are for playing. Hands are for covering. Hands are for holding. This is my mom's hand and this is mine. This is my mom and this is me. My mom always holds my hand when we go out. It's like she's saying, follow me. When we go shopping, I will help her carry the bags so she can have a free hand to hold my hand. Once, I let go of her hand. I turned around and I couldn't see her. It felt like I was dropping into a rabbit hole. Until she picked me up with her hands. I say to myself, I will never let go of her hand again. My mom's hands are good at cooking. My hands are good at using chopsticks to eat her cooking. My mom's hands are good at sewing.
My hands are good at putting on the clothing she made for me. My mom's hand are also very good at painting. My hands are good at hanging her painting on the wall. My mom always loves painting, but she didn't really get a chance to do it until she was 65. One night, around 11 o'clock, I saw that the light in her room was still on. She was doing this painting. Mom, it's late. You should go to bed. Ah, one more minute, I will be down. <laughs> you said that an hour ago. Eh? I thought you were doing Chinese painting, but this looks different. Oh yeah, I stopped doing that. Ah, I don't like to copy teacher's painting all the time. Well, they say that's the way you learn Chinese painting. Eventually, you will learn all the skills and be better than the teacher. Ah, I have no intention to be better than my teacher. I just want to paint uh, something belong to myself. Like what? Ah, my memory. See? This is the diary of my childhood. Gee, Mom, you do have a lot of stories. Well, let me tell you some of them. Manga, the birthplace of Taipei, is also where my mom was born. Her grandparents were from a big family there. Their ancestor came from Fujian, China to relocate in Manga 175 years ago. They started a timber business and built their reputation as Huang Juyi Timber Company. This is the famous big Huang family house, located in Manga next to Pier 3 by the Danshui River. How big, you ask? Well, the kitchen had to prepare food for more than 200 people, 
men and children ate first, women second, the servants the last. They needed to have one person there just for cooking rice. So much rice that they had to put wheels on the rice bucket in order to be able to push it to the dining room. That's why rice bucket with wheels became a metaphor for a rich family. This is my great grandfather's 50th birthday. They took a family photo together. This is my great grandfather, Huang Shixun. This is my great grandmother, Chen Wenzhi. This is my grandmom. Her name is. Huh? Noodle. Grandma's name is Noodle. When your grand grandfather hear the news of her birth, he was having a bowl of noodle. Hmm, what kind of name should I give her? Good noodle, good noodle. Eh? I got it. Let's call her noodle. No kidding. Well, people didn't spend too much time on thinking a name for a girl, right? How about your name? Since I am the third girl in the family, my parents. Desperately wanted a boy, so they call me Zhao Zhi. It means welcoming a baby boy. Did it work? I did get a baby brother, ah, but unfortunately, he died very young. Um, how about me? What about you? Well, I have four brothers, and I am the youngest. Were you expecting me? Oh yeah, we desperately wanted a girl, and here you are, <laughs> pretty and healthy, just like you, mom. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Just like me. The patriarchal customs were still very prevalent at my mother's time. My mom was giving away when she was a baby. Her adopted mom treated her badly, so her mom took her back. But when she was five, she was giving away again. I wanna go home. This is your home. No, it's not. Yes, your parents give you to us. They don't want girls. They want boys. Only boys can continue the family. You should know better.、Mm, then why did you take me? Well, we need a helper for the housework. I wanna go home. Listen, just be good, and we will treat you well.、Mm, I wanna go home. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I do. I wanna go home.
this she did. When her adoptive father worked in another city and left her alone by herself, she ran away. She walked about 10 miles and finally she found the way back to my grandmom's house. She was only 10 at that time. My grandma had no choice but to let her stay. One day, my mom asked my grandma, Mommy, mommy, can I go to middle school? Where did you get that idea? I want to continue studying. Girls shouldn't know too much from books. Why not? Men don't like it. I like it. I want to go to school. No, you don't. My mom didn't have a chance to continue her education when she was young, but she never gave up. One day, I called my mom from New York. Ted told me that you are going to the community school and you are taking a computer class, is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to learn how to use email. Well, nowadays, everybody has email. Besides, your brother says it's cheaper than the telephone. Oh, I'm also taking an English class. I hope someday I can talk to your husband in English. I can always translate for you. You know that. Mm, besides, he should learn some Chinese too. Don't you think so? I know your English is very good. I also know that Chinese is a very difficult language to learn. Don't push him too hard, you hear me? My mom continued taking classes and painting until the year she passed. One day, I dreamt about my mom giving me a red balloon. I thought, what will happen if I let it go? Then, I did. I saw it flew away in the sky. So beautiful. I felt like I was flying with it. was flying with me.